Thank you, Eric. The Sun Devils hit the road for the first time this season as they travel to Miami. No, not that Miami, the one in Oxford, Ohio. And to discuss the matchup, we bring in WCSN hockey reporter Anthony Remedios. Anthony, always good to see you, my man. And before we get into the opponent, let's talk ASU. Obviously, they're undefeated, as we just heard. What has made them so tough to play against? Well, to start, Riley, the special teams unit has been phenomenal for the Sun Devils, only allowing two power play goals all season both of which were against Northern Michigan last week. And although that currently ranks tied for 17th in the nation, the team finished fourth in the country on the penalty kill last season at 86%. On the other side of that, the power play unit looked strong against the Wildcats last weekend, scoring on four of 10 attempts in an effort that was tremendously complemented by the defense. After a 10 goal performance at Duluth the week before, AS ASU held Northern Michigan to just three goals for the entire weekend, only one of which was scored at even strength. All right, so the team, obviously, they've been stellar as a whole, but tell me, who are some of the individuals who've had the biggest impact so far? Well, two of the guys who have stood out to me so far, Riley, are senior forward Matthew Copperud and graduate forward Tyler Gratton. Copperud is currently tied with three others for the team lead in points with four, three goals and one assist and just set the record for most power play goals as a Sun Devil at 26. He's also scored the game-winning goal in three of ASU's four games this season. Now, let's talk about Tyler Gratton, a big, gritty athlete whose one goal and two assists may not look all that impressive to you, but his leadership has already left an impact on the team. Head coach Greg Powers has talked extensively this season about his character and leadership because of how quickly he gained the respect from his peers. Gratton was unanimously voted as ASU's captain after four seasons at Penn State and an additional four years in the USHL. Before we let you go, Anthony, ASU is ranked as high as 13 in one poll this week and number three in the pairwise. With that in mind and considering the Sun Devils' struggles on the road in recent years, what exactly does this series mean in the long run? Although the polls and pairwise rankings are seemingly irrelevant right now due to the small sample size, Every road game will hold a big impact for the Sun Devils down the stretch. In ASU's two tournament qualifying seasons in 2019 and 2020, the team went 9-9 and 10-8 nine and on the road, respectively. In the last two seasons that saw promising starts, the Sun Devils have gone a collective 9-22-1 on the road. Since the opening of Mullet Arena last season, Powers has regularly emphasized the importance of winning on the road and the eventual impact later in the season. With just 10 road games this year, this weekend series against a future NCHC opponent is among the team's most important. All right, Anthony, well, thank you so much for joining us today. And like you said, the polls are fun to look at right now, but it's still too early for them to matter. Here's what Coach Powers had to say on the attention his team is getting. 